Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme WordPress tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well in this series of videos we're covering the basics of the Divi theme. We installed the theme, made the logo, customized the site. We made this slider last time. And this time we're just going to explore some text blocks. I'm going to show you how to build some simple text blocks with a hover background color change really easy if you followed any of my videos before you'll know that uh, I love the Divi theme I've made hundreds of websites with it and it just keeps getting better and better and more easy to use if you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video so let's get started I'm going to go ahead and enable the visual builder that will allow us to build on the front end once enabled, go down to where you want to go. What I'm going to do is just completely delete this section. We'll start from scratch. So this is where we left off last time, just with our slider up here. Or I should say our fader, really, because they fade in rather than slide in. So I'm going to go down to this little purple button here. Left click, add new section. I'm going to add a regular section. Now it's going to prompt us to put some columns into a row I'm going to go ahead and select three. Obviously select however many or few that you want. And once we select a number of rows we want in there, it'll prompt us to put in a module of some sort. And by Divi, uh, by default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard, which is a fantastic amount to build some awesome sites. And we're going to just go ahead and load a text module. Simply, again, just click left click on it and it'll open up like this and if I scroll down a little bit you can see it's actually added it there and it's got some text in there by default obviously you want to put in your own sort of text you can put in any sort of text you want just like any sort of text module just select this and start typing or cut and paste if you've got a document if you want to make something into a title let's just drop this down I'll make a that on another line grab the text that you want to make it a title select the little drop down up here and giving it a heading heading one through six obviously one's the largest six is the smallest so I'll give it heading two and as you can see we've got a heading right there okay so if I just check that we've got a basic module there I'm not going to change the text obviously you can put in your own the blue tab is for the section itself the green tab is for the row and the dark tab is for the module itself and to edit the module just click on the little cog of the dark tab there before I do that let's decide what we want to do so I've got a little module here I'm gonna have three of them well let's just copy it over and put three in there so if you want to just copy a module just go to the dark tab hit the two little squares or oblongs there left click and it copies it clones it exactly so it doesn't matter which one you you move over do the same thing and all I'm doing is left clicking on the little cross there and pulling it to where I want it to go and releasing my left button when it gets there so we got three sections there okay let's keep this simple let's center align the text and also when my mouse hovers over it I want to change it to a different background color to make it stand out and when I've changed the background color I'm going to want the text color to change also so let's do that we'll go back hit the cog edit our tab here okay the first thing I wanted to do was center align the text so I'm just going to go down to text Gonna roll on down and here's our alignment text orientation left center right justified just play with them you can see what they do justified fills it all out obviously right aligns it to the right center is what we want centers the text and left takes it to the left hand side right there so that's perfect okay that's great center that's just what we want here now I want to give it a background color just when we hover on it 
I mean, you can give it a background color when it's not hovering too. Let's go and do that. Let's go to the content tab, go to background, and you can select color, gradient, image, or video. For this today, we're just gonna select a color. Now, I don't want any color there when we're not hovering, but I do wanna cover color on there when we are hovering. So if you look at background in the black up here, click on the little arrow, and it'll give us a default and a hover button. Now default, I'm gonna leave as it is because we don't want any background color there. When it hovers, I wanna give it a background color, so I'll just hit the plus. I'll give it blue, which is just the same color as our button right there. Okay, so we can see it's giving it a background color but of course that's made our text pretty illegible and also we can see from that that our text is squashed up to the edges of this little box here so first thing we want to do is make our text readable so if we go to the design tab we'll go to text and what we want to do is go down to text color and again if you hover on the black text color You'll see that little arrow again click on it give us those two buttons once more default and hover default I'm gonna leave the same hover I'm gonna make that text white and as you can see it's made the text white but the title we gave that an h2 up there has remained dark so we want to do it to that as well so if I just close this up we can go down to heading text and we know that's h2 because that's what we selected it for so select h2 go down to color again hit the little arrow just beside it default hover is the state we want hover we want it to be white that's great now we can read everything of course you put whatever color you want there and of course you can if you want to change your heading text to all caps you can select these upper and lower caps select that underline strike through italic have it how you want it you can have combinations as well I'm just gonna leave mine as is okay so the next problem well it's not really a problem the next thing we notice here is is all this text is squashed up against the side of this box we don't want that we want to give it a bit of breathing space between the top and the sides here that's called padding so while we're on the design tab we'll just close this up with a little chevron there we'll go down to spacing and if you look down below we've got margin custom margin and custom padding now i'm going to give it about 20 pixels all around you can give separate for each side but i'm going to use the same on all sides so i'm going to type 20 don't have to put px in there it'll do it for you you can also do it with percentage if you want to if you check the little chain icon there it'll do opposite sides so you only have to put in one value and if you change one it'll change the other also so we'll do the same for this check the little arrow and put 20 in there there we go we've got 20 pixels all around on each side there that makes it a little better looking in my opinion and it's sort of less cramped okay that's great okay what else do we want to do that's pretty much it now our little button here that's the same blue it's got slightly rounded corners so we can give our module slightly rounded corners if we want to and to do that just go to border and you'll see rounded corners I'm not going to do the hover state I'll just have it regular because you won't notice anything on the white one anyway and you can put in whatever value you want on each corner I'll say 10 as you can see it's got slightly rounded corners there I think that might be a bit much let's do five and as with the padding you've got a chain here if you want to put different amounts of rounded corner on each one you can do so by unchecking that and do each one separately but that's great for me that's kind of what I want so that's pretty much it really that's what I want let's just save that and you think well now we're going to do all these 
Well, yes, but no, Divi makes it very easy for you. What we're going to do is you can extend the styles to this whole row. So everything we've done to this one, we can apply to these other ones here. And uh, to so just right click on the dark tab here. And you'll see extend text styles. Click on that. Now we don't want to ex don't want to extend these styles to all the text on our page. If there is a drop down, we can do it to all the ones in this section would work. All the ones in this row would work. Not in the column because that would only do the one we're on. So let's just do the one all the ones in this row. Hit extend. And as you can see, it's applied that to all three of those little modules there which is great so let's save our changes and see what we've got I just hit the little purple button in the middle now I'm going to hit the green save button over here when you've got the check mark you can go up and exit the visual builder let's go down and take a look there's our little three little text sections there and now when we hover over them You'll see the background turns blue and the text turns white. Okay, the hover effect doesn't seem to be working on these two. Let's enable our visual builder again. And we'll try a slightly different method this 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 time. If we go down to where we were, this time let's right click and go to copy module styles. Then go to the next one, right click paste module style right click and paste module style save our changes and exit see if we've got our hover effect exit the visual builder there we go we've now got our hover effect on all three So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. Like I said, it's a very simple guide to some of Divi's features. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.